Councillors representing different wards in a community are constituted by law to bring about an improved and meaningful life for their people through the quality of decisions made on their behalf. To channel new waves of development within Yaba Local Council Development Area, the leadership of the Legislative House, Yaba LCDA, invited stakeholders to an interactive forum to discuss the way forward in the area. The event held at the council all recorded an impressive turnout of key stakeholders within the community as they listened to the message of the lawmakers. As from the commencement of this bylaw, it is unlawful for any person to cut any road within your local council development area for the purpose of laying pipe, cables, or for construction of speed breaker, pumps, and so on without first obtaining approval from the county. And later, they now specify penalties as that any person found cutting road without first obtaining permit has committed an offense and upon conviction is liable to pay a fine of 500,000. Any person found cutting tight road illegally within the local council development area shall, in addition, so the payment of 500,000 naira referred to in section 41 above shall also restore the road to its original state or condition before the court. If you start to pay fine and restore road, any person who refuses to pay fine pursuant to this bylaw shall not be provision liable to pay fine of 500,000 or three months imprisonment. During the interactive session, stakeholders were allowed to make input. Stakeholders are optimistic that the input made, if followed and implemented, will surely improve the quality of life within the vicinity. In Yaba SCD, we have 41 CDs. All the, all the 41 CDs chairmen we are here. All of them we are here. Even the stakeholders who we are here. So they will pass the information to the various members at the CDA level. But the money they are meeting once in a month, the message will pass to them. So if you go to the grassroots, there's no way they will even get to the grassroots. We have the machinery to take care of that. Concerning the program of today, it's very, very good. But it needs some amendment for the people in the local government so that everybody will know what to do. It has to be amended for the residential. The leader of the Legislative House in an interview disclosed that all hands are on deck to achieve a more transformed Yaba LCDA. What we are doing today is just the aspect of the process of making law, whereby the public will be involved. It's called a public hearing. And the essence is that we cannot make law without the involvement of the people. We are making this public hearing to invite the CDA distinguished uh, resident of Yaba, a notable public figure, to witness this process. Their input, some of them have uh, raised their objection in the area of the fine and the traffic, and they have been able to let us know that they will be glad if they can work on it. But basically, the essence is to make life better in the area of traffic, in the area of cutting the road, which all those things have an impact negatively on the people. Today we are having our public hearing for the laws that we are about to introduce to the public. But part of the stages of the laws is to hear from the public. So we have itemized those laws, those laws that we are going to regulate, and those new laws. So we need to hear from the public because they are, we, they are the custodians of the law itself. So on our own part, on our own part, we just have to hear from them their input. And these are the stages that we are in today. And we thank Almighty God for the success story today. Stakeholders now look forward to seeing an improved Yaba LCDA with all the basic amenities readily available. Mm -hmm.